Oh, this is how you properly get the pin feathers off of Toad's head. You have to do some snuggles. It'd be very gentle. And the best thing to do is to take one of said pin feathers and get it between your thumb and your index finger and just kind of crush it. You don't want to pull because then Toth will get really upset at you. Um, since Toth is a solo bird, there's no one to clean her neck. So I have to do this, otherwise, otherwise she gets cold and I'll see her shivering in the cage. Should I clean my pin feathers? Oh, yes. Uh, it does make a horrific mess of, of dust, so be prepared for that. Yes, oh, it's a bit cheeky. You could try using a mascara brush to get some of these little guys off, but I haven't, I haven't had much success with that. But some birds really like it. You'll have to forgive my voice. I have a cold, so <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing today. Oh, it's so soft. Get those pin feathers. Uh, the reason they they're like this is the the feathers form by having a, a blood filled tube, a little keratinous <laughs> tube, and then the feathers in inside of it as it matures the. I guess the blood dries out or something, but anyway, the, the tube ends up cracking off and then you have a compressed feather underneath there and you have to release it. Uh, 